Hi guys, how you doing? It's December, it's the Falcon Skirmish Hull, and it's the VXP target, and I'm going to have a little look at a Falcon build as well. Uh, there's the hull, okay, very colourful, uh, we quite like the look of it, torpedoes there at the top in the, in the circle as well, so um, that's the hull we're going to take a look at. Um, first of all, we're going to take a look at the VXP target, and then we'll talk about some hull builds afterwards. Right, the target itself then, uh, this is what we get to have a look at on the map. It's obviously all skirmish ships, okay, so there are various different ones in there. Not so many as what I thought, but they do do some odd stuff, and in fact, no, it's not all skirmish ships, which we'll find out in a second. The bottom ring and the top ring I'll do the same sort of thing, so actually, when I zoom in on this target, I'll, I'll um, slightly have a look at uh, the top two sections and ignore the bottom two sections, it's just a repeat of the top, to be honest. Okay, here we go. Um, I've coded it as best I can, okay, and I'll try to explain what I've done and why I've done it. I'm going to start drawing some crazy lines and that sort of stuff, but ultimately I think you'll understand it once, I've, once I'm going down. So first and foremost, uh, this ship here, okay then, this is uh, one of the routine skirmish ships. It has long-range torpedoes and it fires concussive damage. Okay, so that's concussive damage. Uh, next one, okay, then, uh, is this one in the center which actually is uh, slightly frustrating. It is obviously shielded um, and it's awkward to get to uh, until you've cleared everything else out of the way. It also fires very long range concussive uh, torpedoes as well. It seems that because it's also shielded, you've got to get in quite a long way before you can kill it. Uh, it has got an effect range, as you can see, which is obviously this orange range here. Uh, so just be cautious. I killed it at the end and it did an extensive amount of damage to me. Uh, we're going to change the color of the circle. Why? Because we're going to go on to uh, something different this time. And we're going to have a little look at uh, over here. This is interesting. We're going on to now this here, which actually to me looks like a lionfish, which is a garrison hull, bizarrely. Okay, but it looks like a, a lionfish to me anyway. This one here um, actually fires two different projectiles. In the short range, it fires rockets. Okay. Um, which are explosive and in the long range it has uh, f inside this red zone here it fires uh, fire fields at you okay which are also explosive damage slightly frustrating but that's the way it is now the small uh, ships these ones over here they also fire rockets and they also are explosive damage as well and then the last but no means least this ship here which looks like a zealot to me Okay, this um, fires a sort of area effect explosive uh, ring at you, which is almost about the same size as that green circle I put there now, but it also stuns you. So you can, uh, I tried different types of conquerors and I've tried different types of ships to go through it, skirmish ships as well. And I think if you keep around about 100 combat speed, you can actually avoid that yellow ring so whilst it stuns you you may want to put you know anti-stun on your ship i think if you have fast combat speed you shouldn't have to worry about it because the reload speed seems quite slowly so i'm going to take a bit of a gamble when it comes to my build some individuals though may not want to go the exact way i have and they may want to put some anti-stun on which is possible there's a couple of specials that you can do that but i think if you keep quite a high combat speed you should be able to avoid that there that aura from this ship here which like i say it does have a stun effect it seems to last about four seconds so um just be cautious on that one there so so that is about it really to be honest i'll only say one other thing is um until you kill this zealot you don't uncover the two uh lionfish they stay shrouded and they just go around in big circles trying to do lots of damage and basically get in the way if you trying to kill all the other um you know skirmish ships okay so just bear that in mind there are quite a lot of them there, um, but uh, the one in the center, it does give you a couple of opportunities to get to it, but you know, I think you have to clear, clear out all the other stuff first. And then obviously, when you, as and when you can, is to get rid of that uh, zealot, uncover the two, unshroud, sorry, the two, um, which they look like lionfish to me anyway. Um, and then once you've killed those off, then go in at the end and kill the big one in the center. Okay, it's um, slightly frustrating. I couldn't get it to move or do anything at all. It just sat there in the middle, shrouded underneath its, its, its zone, like, you know, so I had to get really, really close to kill it off. So that's it. That's the VXP target. Uh, that's my breakdown of it, and that's my understanding. So concussive damage quite a little bit uh, and explosive damage quite a bit. Some of it could be evaded, but once you're getting close to those rockets, there's a lot of them. So 
I think you need obviously um, some basically some splash uh, counter activity there and you definitely need some speed to try and outrun some of these things as well. You can't obviously outrun many of the torpedoes because they seem to chase you down for those that do concussive but you obviously can evade them. With that in mind then, uh, this is my build. Okay, and what have I got as specials? Well, obviously I've got the first special on the left top then, which is the Swift Strike engine, which is the new 11.5. Below that, I've got the uh, Iron Feather battery, which is the uh, the Skirmish 11.5 battery there. Gives you 50% con concussive damage and splash damage reduction, uh, quite a lot in fact, 13,400. Below that, actually, I think is quite important this time, but it may change if I really, really do get cons to the sort of thing where I think I might need some anti-stun, I'll take it off. But if not for now, I've got the hyperscan system on. Uh, why? Because it gives you a critical chance of 40%, which is pretty decent. Um, okay, and it also gives you the critical damage of 200%. So that makes a huge difference uh, once, you, once you get that on there as well. And then bottom right, uh, this time I've gone for a 10.5 tier. Uh, and that's a shadow strike system. Why? Because you get a concussive reload of 80% and a concussive damage of 120%. Okay, so that's a really decent one to add on to there as well. Above that, I've gone for a roll favorite uh, damage diffusion system. Why? I need some projectile speed for my cormorants. You can see at the top, I've got two cormorants. Okay, so anti torpedo countermeasures at the top. Um, I've gone for two of those basically, and uh, that's what I've gone for there because that gives you projectile speed plus 50. It also gives you a vape bonus of 50, and it gives you a combat speed of 35. Uh, so that's that. And then moving up once further, obviously, I've gone obviously for the latest countermeasure system, okay, which is uh, a it's actually a tier 9.5 one, and it's got a countermeasure range of 75% and a countermeasure range of 100%, uh, and it helps a little bit on concussive and uh, explosive survival. So uh, that's it, quite a short video, um, but I thought this time I'd just uh, get something out there early, so break down the targets to understand where your damage is coming from so you know what ship does what. Okay, and, um, the ship seemed to move in swarms. The two bizarrely lionfish just move in a fixed pattern. You can't attract them towards you and that sort of stuff. Uh, you can hide away from most of their ships, and obviously you've got some zones that you can hide away in some fog itself, um, but obviously the ones that have the aura around them they seem to find you no matter what, okay? Particularly the lionfish, you can't hide away from those, so just bear that in mind. I think it's just a case of getting in there quick, killing them and getting out again, but don't forget, you can't uncover them until you've killed that zealot. Otherwise, it's just they just stay masked and then you're just taking damage for no reason whatsoever. Okay, that's it. Hope it helped. Quite a short one. Um, comments in the chat below, or obviously uh, I'm going to post this on TFC. Comments below in there as well, uh, just in case you've got any feedback. So. These are my first thoughts, and uh, let's let's see your responses. See what comes up. Okay, take care. Uh, TSM out.